Assalamu alaikum and hello dear friends. I am engineer Shafaruk and you are watching your on channel civil engineering world the civilites. Today we are going to start a new video of the series support reaction of beams. In previous two videos we have already learned that how we can find support reaction of simply supported beam carrying point load and uniformly distributed load respectively. In this video, we are going to learn that how we will find the reaction of simply supported beam if it is carrying the combination of both loads, point load and uniformly distributed load at same time. So stay tuned with us and watch the video full. Let's start today's topic. Today we are going to find the support reactions of simply supported beam carrying combination of uniformly distributed load and point load. For this purpose I have taken a simply supported beam of length 10 feet carrying a uniformly distributed load of 5 kf per feet on first 4 feet of the beam and then 2 point loads of 20 kf and 10 kf at point C and D respectively. We already know that in simply supported beam we have one vertical reaction at each support. Now to find these vertical reaction we will use the three equation of equilibrium that are sum of all horizontal forces as equal to zero and sum of all vertical forces equal to zero and the third equation is sum of all moment about z axis is, is equal to zero. To find the support reaction A and E we will start with using the third equation of equilibrium that is sum of all moments about z axis is, is equal to zero. Here remember a point that if you want to find reaction A first you have to take sum up our moments about E equal to zero and if you want to find reaction E first you have to take sum up our moments about A equal to zero. I want to find a fourth reaction at A first so I have taken sum up our moments about E equal to zero. Here you have to specify a direction for positive moment for this purpose I have taken clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative. You can also take opposite of this. So starting from this left side of the beam the first force acting on this beam is Ra. The moment of this force will be equal to Ra multiplied by 10 because we know that the moment of a force about a point is equal to the magnitude of that force multiplied by its perpendicular distance to the point at which moment is taken. <coughs> and you can see that I have taken it is positive because you can see that this moment is producing a clockwise moment about point E. The second force acting on this beam is this distributed load and the moment of this distributed load will be equal to the magnitude of the resultant of this force into its perpendicular distance to the point at which moment is taken I, that is point E. Now the resultant of this force will be equal to the magnitude of the force multiplied by the length on which it is applied which is 4 feet. So 5 into 4 and the perpendicular distance of this force is 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 feet and half of this length on which with the load is applied which is or divided by 2 and you can see that the sign of this moment is negative because this load is producing anti-clockwise moment about point E. The next load acting on this beam is this 20 kf load and the moment of this load will be equal to 20 multiplied by its perpendicular distance which is 4 feet and the sign is negative because it is also producing anti-clockwise moment. The next force is 10 kf force and its moment will be 10 into 2 and it is also producing anti-clockwise moment so it is also taken as negative. So the sum of all these forces will be equal to 0. Here Re is ignored because the perpendicular distance of Re and point E is 0. So it is producing no moment about point E. Now by simplification we will get 10 Ra minus 160 minus 80 minus 20 is equal to 0. 
by further simplifying we will get 10 r a minus 260 equal to 0 now so shifting this minus 260 to the other side of the equation we will get 10 r a is equal to 260 to get the value of r a dividing both hand side by 10 we will get r a is equal to 260 divided by 10 and which is equal to r a is equal to 26 which is the required result for the reaction of this beam r a so we have determined this reaction Ra. Now to find the second reaction Re, we can use the same method that is the sum of all moment about A is equal to 0. But here I have used the second equation of equilibrium that is sum of all vertical forces is equal to 0. Here you have to specify a direction for positive forces. I have taken upward forces positive and downward forces negative. You can also take opposite of this. Now starting from this side. The first force acting on this beam is Ra and then this distributed load magnitude of which is min, uh, 5 into 4 then 20 kips load and then 10 kips load and then Re. You can see that Re and Ra is taken as positive because these forces are acting upward and the other forces sign is negative because these forces are acting downward. Well, now by putting the value of Ra in this equation we will get 26 minus 20 minus 20 minus 10 plus R is equal to 0 by simplifying this equation we will get minus 24 plus R is equal to 0 now shifting this minus 24 to the other side of the equation we will get R e is equal to 24 kips which is the required result for reaction R e now we have determined both reaction of the beam R a and R e now to check that we have calculated these reaction accurately we can verify the result by the simple simple trick that um, the sum of upward forces must be equal to the sum of downward forces here you can see that there are only two upper forces which is r a and r e and the value of r a and r e is 26 and 24 and the downward forces are these three forces this distributed force this 20 k force and this uh, 10 k force so so by simplifying this we will get 50 from both hand side it means that the sum of all upward forces is equal to the sum of all downward forces it shows that we have calculated all the results accurately that's all for today thank you very much for watching the video if you have learned something from this video please like the video and also share your views with us and if you are watching this channel for the first time please click on the subscribe button along with the bell icon to receive notification of the upcoming videos thank you very much